you have 720p, 1080p, 4K, UHD, what do all these numbers and letters mean? Well, in the world of TV, they refer to screen resolution. Here's a rundown on all the different types of TV resolution and what it means when you're shopping for a new TV. First, let's talk about pixels. These are the tiny little dots that make up the big picture you see on a TV, and you can only see them if you get up really close to your TV. Screen resolution is commonly expressed in terms of rows and columns of pixels. Let's start with a 720p TV, which has 1,280 columns times 720 rows, hence 720p. With a total of 921,600 pixels, this is the gateway to HDTV. Next is 1080p, which is often called Full HD. That's 1920 columns by 1080 rows for 2,073,600 pixels. That's a lot more. Now, let's take this to the next level, which is called 4K or Ultra HD. This is 3840 by 2160 for a whopping 8,294,400 pixels. That's four times as many pixels as Full HD and nine times as many as 720p. What you'll notice, though, is that our pixel numbers are going up, but the screen size stays the same. So we're essentially cramming more smaller pixels into the same space. That's called pixel density or pixels per inch. What this means when we watch TV is that we can get sharper lines, smoother curves, and lots more detail out of a 4K Ultra HD TV than we can on an HD TV. It also means that we can sit a little bit closer to big 4K TVs because the pixels are so small, we won't see them unless you put your face right up next to the TV. At the end of the day, you can get Get a bigger TV for your viewing distance than you could before. So what's next? 8K? Well, actually, yes, 8K is in the works, but it's a long way from becoming mainstream. We're just now getting to the point where there's plenty of 4K Ultra HD content to watch on 4K TV. So don't worry, 4K is the new standard, and it's definitely the resolution that should be on the next TV you put in your living room.